Hello and welcome back to my workshop. Uh, I primarily work with pallet wood. 99% of what I do is pallet wood. Currently we've got, uh, I've just totted them up, I've got 50 pallets there waiting to be broken apart. Um, so anything I can do that's going to make breaking apart a pallet easier, I will do because it makes my life so much easier. So last year I bought a roughneck pallet buster, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, you basically put that in underneath the plank and just it just pops straight off. I'll put a quick um, either link to the video of me doing it or I'll just insert a quick uh, bit of me doing it here just so you can see exactly how it works. Fantastic piece of kit. Um, so breaking apart these 50 pallets is suddenly a load easier. Um, then I was stuck with a load of wood that had nails sticking out of it. Um, so I bought the um, Airlocker AP700, uh, what's called a nail puller, that's a pusher. And basically with all the nails, you just stick it on top, bang, and all the nails pop out into, into the bucket. So life suddenly became a load easier. Um, but the one outstanding problem I had was the Euro pallets. So typically my pallet wood is about seven to eight centimeters across. The uh, legs on this are, the arms are 10 centimeters. So that's easy enough, it goes in underneath and lifts the entire plank off just brilliantly. But the Euro pallets, as they're called Euro pallets or EPAL, um, the pieces of wood are 14 centimeters. And so what was happening was, this was going in only 10 centimetres behind a 14 centimetre plank. And these parts here, rather than hugging the, the plank, were actually applying a lot of pressure right halfway across the, the plank. And I was basically snapping most of the wood in half. So I actually stopped collecting uh, European pallets um, because they were just of no use to me until I started making bird boxes and suddenly they're selling like hotcakes. And for the bird boxes, the 14 centimetre pieces of wood are absolutely ideal. So I've started collecting European pallets again now, but I need to find a good way of breaking them up. Uh, so I found somebody on uh, YouTube who was using a multi-tool to, to break up a pallet. I thought that's got to be worth a try. So I did a bit of research. I bought the Bosch COP 3028, which is basically 300, the 30 stands for 300 watts, and the 28 stands for 2.8 degrees of oscillation. Um, so it came with a wood stroke metal blade, which sounds ideal, and was, you know, basically sold as, it would cut your wooden pallets, but also go through your pallet nails, ideal. So the idea is, you've got your plank that you want to save here, you've got your blocks, you go in with your oscillating tool, you go in through the wood, that's no problem because it's a wood blade, then you hit a nail, that's no problem because it's a metal blade, snaps through the, uh, cuts through the nail, and then these blocks just lift off, and what you're left with is just your plank. So, absolutely ideal, exactly what I wanted to do. So, I broke apart half a pallet, maybe a third of a pallet using this method and then it suddenly stopped cutting I couldn't really work out what was going on until I looked at the blade and it's gone completely blunt and not only that but it's actually started to melt so I'm gonna try and bring this blade closer to the camera uh, so that you can see exactly how it has melted in fact I might put it down put it down and bring the camera to it and the focus might work better Hopefully some of that footage that I just did, did actually go in focus, but basically it's just, the, the, there's absolutely no sharpness, I can run my finger on there, there's no sharpness left, and it has actually melted part of it completely. So, utterly useless. And I counted here the marks that I've made on the wood. I think I, I, think I did about 16 nails before the blade was, was gone. And looking on Amazon, the blades are about eight pounds each. 
Uh, you can buy some metal specific ones, for cutting metal, uh, which I was going to have a go at, but they were £33 for a, for a deep, deep plunge one like this. It was £33. Um, which you need the deep plunge because you need to be able to get in from the sides, especially as these planks are 14 centimetres, you need to be able to get in from either end to at least seven centimetres in. So you need the deep plunge. So uh, that was basically a complete epic fail. Um, the idea was that I was going to cut the blocks off like that and then use my nail gun to just blow the remaining part of the nail out, which you can see for the ones that, did, that I did do, um, you just ended up with these little nail heads that you can then just go along and, um, and pull out with your, with your screwdriver. Uh, sorry, with your hammer, uh, claw hammer. So, as I say, epic fail. Um, the the multi-tool itself, the Bosch multi-tool, I believe is a really good multi-tool, um, but the, the blade is absolutely worthless. And looking at it, I can't really seem to get a, a recommendation for a good blade that will do it. So I think it's not the tool that I, I personally wouldn't recommend trying to take apart a pallet with a multi-tool. It's just an oscillating multi-tool. It's just not the right job, not the right tool for the job. So yesterday I had to come up with a new plan. So having decided that the oscillating multi-tool just isn't going to cut it, I'm going to take it back and, and get a refund because it's just it's absolutely pointless. So what I did yesterday was I, with my circular saw, I ran circular saw along the plank, cutting through, and it cut through through the nails, turn it over, and by setting a, a width setting here so I knew exactly how far away from the plank I was, when I, when, it, when I went on the other side, those two cuts exactly matched up because I can't plunge the full depth all in one go. So having done that, um, I did about six pallets yesterday and I've checked the blade and there's absolutely no damage to the blade. You can hear when it goes through the nail and it just goes straight through it. Um, and um, there's absolutely no damage to the, um, to the blade. So, and that's just the standard blade that came on my DeWalt circular saw. Um, so I haven't looked to see what type of blade it is, but um, it, yes, just the standard blade that came with it. So having then cut the wood like that, I then do exactly what I was going to do before, which is I've got all these nail heads. So I just go with my uh, air puller and just bash those out. And then these pads will just come off. Um, and I've got a clean piece of pallet wood. So as I said, I did about six yesterday. Um, which gave me quite a few to, to build my bird boxes with. Um, I'm going to do about another six now, I think, um, and then go and build some more bird boxes. So I hope that that's been useful, and I hope that it saves somebody out there thinking that this is the right tool for, for breaking apart a, a pallet. It absolutely isn't. Um, I can't personally think of a use for I was going to keep it anyway and get a new blade, but I can't actually think of anything that I would use this for in, in the, the things that I do. Um, so I'm going to take it back and get a refund. Um, it's just not fit for purpose. I mean, I think the machine is fit for purpose, but the blade clearly isn't. And I can't find a good recommendation for a decent blade. So I hope that's helped save somebody out there taking a wrong turn. Hope it's been useful. Um, if you've got time to like the video, then fantastic, thank you very much. If you've got any comments, put them in the section below. Any questions? And if you've got time to subscribe to the channel, even better. Thank you very much. Get my numbers up slowly. And until next time, stay safe.